What's going on guys, WayDax98 here with another Smite patch notes and thank goodness this time I have somebody to keep me on track. I'm joined by the best daggum midlander on uh, Xbox, Mr. Fang Vantino. How are you doing, good sir? Hey, what's up? So this is the 3.10 patch called... Doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Took a sip of my drink, give me a break. Oh, I'm sorry. Thirsty, man, I'm thirsty. Uh -huh. For something no. to drink, some drink. Okay, so as you can Shoot see something. right in front, yeah, <laughs> as you can see right in front of us, we got a new god, and he's a guardian, and I'm pumped. Cause everybody love good it's guardian, short guardian. little fucking short guardian. It dude like you double rat tasker size, and you got you got Fefna right here, Lord of the glittering gold. He's got a weird. We're not gonna go into his lore or anything because it doesn't have it on the page but we can go right into his passive which is endless greed so basically this guy's got one of those starter items what's the starter item I don't even use it oh uh, watcher's gift watcher's gift that's it I don't use it because it's trash because uh, it's <laughs> basically he gets four bonus gold for every all minion structures kills assists anything that gives you gold you get the bonus gold just like watcher's gift and he gets protections as he has more as he has more gold up to if he has a thousand gold he gets thirty extra protections was that right yes yeah yeah so early game that's going to help you a lot so basically the longer you stay in lane and the greater you get with your uh, sitting in lane the stronger you're going to get so he basically fits my playstyle a little bit I like to sit in lane and just farm for freaking days because well I don't use watcher's gift so I have to get my gold from somewhere um <laughs> So, that's cool. So next we we have we have uh, these are not in order. Uh, curse strength is that? Yeah, yep, it is. Okay, order. okay. So uh, curse, yeah. as you can tell, there's two. Uh, there's two names for each because he does. It is kind of stance changey. He can. I guess you could say, but his ultimate does turn him into his dragon form. So you have the little bitty tiny dwarf, and then he transforms into a big A dragon, and it's badass. I didn't even set up any of the gamer cards. I'm gonna have to open. The, I mean, cards up. You know what? I'm gonna open that up right now. <laughs> Damn it! They don't have it set up. Okay, the, the, I couldn't have done it anyway. That 404 me. Uh, card not found. So his first one is a line. It's just. Basic line. He throws his hammer and it goes in a line. Unless oh, it hit. <laughs> yeah. Unless it hits somebody and then it goes in a circle. Basically, the way it is, you throw it. The hammer goes through all minions. If it hits an, uh, if it hits a enemy god, it hits them. It stuns them for three seconds and causes this small radiate. Uh, radiate like the only one I could think of that kind of does this is souls. Uh, the uh, soul, uh, soul stellar burst, but the damn thing, it's like soul stellar burst on like ten times slow mo. It's just yeah. So anyone within that pulse uh, from that uh, radiate gets slowed for three seconds. So basic CC and wave clear of most guardian that most guardian have, except <coughs> bracket. <coughs> um. <laughs> I've gotten almost every uh, every guardian done. I'm on Kabrakin, and oh my god, his uh, wave clear is horrible. Um, so yeah, and then in the dragon form, instead, uh, it does all the same thing, and it deals x, but it deals extra tick damage because he's a poison dragon, so it does all of his stuff's poison and tick, of course. And then um, the one closest is also. No, no, wait. That's the not, that's the other ability. Never mind. But yeah. So so basically, all it does is give you a little tick damage to it, uh, and it does in that three second. And it does. I think it goes faster in the dragon, doesn't it? Like the pulse. Oh, uh, it looks like it goes. It faster. looks like it goes faster. It doesn't say here, but it looks like it goes faster. Um, next and one. Wait, wait. wait. What did I forgot. Wait, forgot it. It shreds protection if you use it on the enemy gut. So if you got like some. Super bulky guardian or something you want to, you know, get rid of his protections. Hit him with that and have your team just wreck his shot. 
Oh, that's on the dragon one. I, I knew I was forgetting something about yeah. the dragon. I knew it had two things added to it, but I could not remember. Yeah, the dragon... Yeah, it stretch protections on the dragon. Uh, from For the dragon form, and the dragon form only lasts for 40 seconds at max rank, 20 to 40 seconds, so you, it doesn't have any of the damage on here. They're slacking this time. God, it usually does. They're slacking. So... Sorry about that. We would tell you... I know that one off because I wanted to know how long you'd last in the dragon form, and it's... 20 to 40 seconds. Um, his yep. next one, well, that's basically, <laughs> so basically we just went over the ultimate, but his second ability is actually a buff. So the first one, if, so in Fefnar form, he goes more of a, it's a, uh, it's more of a mark of the crow in that you just target an ally and increases their power and attack speed for five seconds. It doesn't say how much it does here. And they didn't really say it, so we can't tell you how much power or how much uh, of this it boosted. But it does boost it. Um, and it does seem to be considerable uh, at rank 5. Uh, so that may be useful. And the power is added on, basically. But there's no kill stealing. So you actually get uh, player damage for putting that on them. And then, let's say, a raw ultimate goes through them you will get partial damage for that raw ult because of this ability. No kill stealing from it yep, though. Yep. yep. You will never get sad. the you will never get the actual kill from doing this, which is sad for a lot of people for but for me I don't give a crap because usually I don't ca I don't care anyway. But it means my my damage is uh player damage is going to be higher on the charts. So good with it. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I beat yeah. you on the charts I sometimes. Mean, I know that's the point. I can't, I can't get in the same area as you. I gotta make a stand for it. You know? Okay, yeah, <sighs> shame. Okay, so the next one we have is a leap. It's a pretty cool little leap. Oh wait, no, we gotta go to dragon form. Damn it, dragon form. Oh god, god. why, why the Nord Scots always have to be so freaking stance changing? How I just have to have two things? Okay, what? Okay, drag, dragon form, same thing, but basically, uh, the ability just has a larger AOE and it can buff multiple allies. It is not a mark of the crow. It's now more of like a skiddy, uh, frost. Yeah. Circle. I can't even remember what's called. I want to call it permafrost, but that's not it. Uh. So there you go. Slack. I can only talk for so long. I'm not. I'm not in my normal groove. Uh, underhand, uh, underhanded tactics or deadly bite, which is his third ability, is a leap. So basically, how he how he does it is he just he basically Thor jumps from like the the, the Thor Avengers Thor jumps, like kind of like throws his hammer in front of him and it kind of brings it across. And you can choose how far it, it goes. So if you do it right in front of him, it's more of a um, it actually has variable travel time, so if it's right in front of him, it's more of just cone. But if you jump, it's actual like leap cone, and it you go. It doesn't. Not, it goes from like split second, it right in front of you to couple second leap time. I, it's kind of like if Bassett didn't have to leap to to do her leap when it's right in front of her. Instead of jumping straight up, he just cone. It's basically a Bastet jump mixed with her cone attack. When when it's bullet. right in front of him. Let's yeah, just cone yeah, attack it's when right it's right in front of him. Yes. It's 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 hard to explain, but it, it's very simple. Um, and it disarms for... It doesn't even say how long it disarms. I don't know. They didn't even say it. It doesn't either. even say it. Dude, they are slacking. Like, you don't have damage for the abilities. You don't have some of the times... Come on, hi -res. We've been sitting here um, for an hour waiting for this to come up. An hour. And you can't even give us the time. We ha had an hour. Okay. Uh, just, 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 okay. Moving on. Okay. Uh, in Dragon 4, Fefnar also leaps further. Can leap further. And deals tick damage. Poison. Duh. And every second for three seconds... Uh, stuns enemies who's closest to him w from the leap, and including the di uh, and also you have the disarm, so it's very potent CC there, if the team is grouped up, for their dragon oh, form, yeah, for both of them. Yeah, the, that the one. Yeah, the stuns two seconds, 
but then it ticked damage for oh, three seconds. Yeah, it says the stun, uh, Fafnar stunned the enemy closest to him for two seconds. In addition to disarm, which it doesn't say how long the disarm is. So, <laughs> good lord. Darn. Okay, so Fafnar... So his ultimate, we've already gone over and over and over and over again, is basically he transforms into his dragon, and in the process, his basic attack becomes a spray, which is basically Ares searing flesh. And it's just takes, and it's a tick every three seconds for his basic attack, and you can hold it forever. It's crazy. Uh. And, but, like I said, it also changes every one of his abilities, and after 40 seconds, let's say, 20 to 40 seconds, depending on what rank it is, you will revert back, or you can close it earlier. Now, when you transform, you are immune to all damage. When you're reverting back, you take all the damage. So, gotta be a little bit, pa uh, just... Gotta be a little patient about that. You like you run in as the dragon, and you're in the middle of the team, and then you're transforming back, and then you're like, oh, yep, ow. And the thing about it is, when you're transforming into the dragon and transforming out of the dragon, you are stuck in the place that you are. So you want to give yourself about a few seconds to get out if you're in your dragon form, so that you can transform back safely. Because during that second that you're transforming back. People are just loading, unloading all the crap into you because you know you can't do crap to them. Right. So, and it does say here. That. It does say here because Fang, uh, Fang was talking about this earlier. Like, oh, they're going to use them for damage because that basic is OP or whatever. It does not proc item effects. So no poly. Sadly. No soul reaver. No nothing like that for its basics. Actually, soul reaver doesn't proc basics. Whatever. It looks like it's. A, it doesn't look like a basic attack. It looks like a searing flesh. So, it, it's cool. Um, so basically, yeah. If you're gonna trans, if you're in the middle of a team fight and you're about to transform back into a normal Fefnar, you might want to just like save your leap and then right before you transform, jump over a wall, transform and come back into the fight. And it resets your cooldown so you can jump back into the fight and get that uh, disarm. So, that's just. That's a basic tactic. So we're going to move on to skins now because that's basically him. Actually, I'm going to see if I can bring up the picture. You can see the picture. Nope, 404 me still. God, come on, high res. I'm doing everything right here. Okay, first new skin. We have Ab... Ab, Ab it's not Abracadabra. It's Afracadabra? Dat Dara? Yes. Something like that. <laughs> Aphrodite. It's weird. So this is actually a really cool skin, and it's basically Witch Aphrodite. And she has the little kitty, and she actually, the kitty actually is used in it. So, uh, her basic attack, she throws cats. You got the little kit in the broom, kitten in the broom, and she swings the broom, and the cat flies out and hits walls. And it's freaking hilarious. Um, and all you hear is, pow, pow, every time you hit a wall. Um, oh my god, what was I going to say about this? Oh yeah, they were like, PETA, no, PETA, please, don't, don't hurt this skin. No, you can't change it now. So, but yeah, uh, what tier is the skin? We have no idea yet. They did not say. It's either a three or a four, though. Okay. Uh, so it's either going to be four hundred or six hundred gems. Uh, going over the next ability design, her kiss is now a pentagram uh, with a green uh, connection effect instead of a pink one. Yes. Um, her straight line, wait, no, yeah, her birds are now bats, and her, uh, getaway is just kind of a, is it green or purple explosion? Uh, uh most likely green. I think it's kind of you know, green. I want to probably stay with the color, but, uh, yeah, it's a pentagram on the ground, and yeah. getaway. Yep, they didn't. They showed some. They talked about some of the voice back. Actually, I wonder. It has a little double, double toil and trouble. Or have they not that is loud. That. They've got the little voice back here actually now, but that's loud AF. 
Double, double, toil and trouble. Well, there's a little sample of the voice back because it probably just blew your ears out for the second time. I had to click it twice. That's actually really loud. Um, so we can go on and move on to the next skin, which they have these out of order. But the next skin is Ski Patrol Scott E with the Beethoven looking uh, Keldar. Oh. Called there. So basically, Keldar. it's like a s yeah. Swedish skin, I think. Would you say call him call her Swedish? I call him Swedish. Yeah, so it isn't whatever he said, like Australian or something. No, it's not. I don't know. So basically, it's a one of those people like the uh, people that go and save people on mountains. You got your skis, you got your stick, for walking stick that has the spike on it to get in the ice, and you have your dog that carries a little thing of uh, eggnog, warm eggnog or whatever. And all of her stuff's like, all of her effects are bound to based on that. Not a lot of changes to her effects, but uh, it's just a really nice skin. Everyone loves Keldar in this skin because he's. Uh, did I say that right? Yeah. Because he's just. Yeah. He's a freaking huge, fluffy puppy dog. He's huge compared to his other form. Like the, wolf, the slim wolf, this dude's bulky AF. Yeah, and think about it, the uh, one thing that really changed, which is noticeable, is whenever you tag him onto somebody, uh, what used to be Kelder's face is actually, let's call it Beethoven, Beethoven Beethoven's head with his little uh, little message thing underneath his chin. The little so barrel. That's a cool thing about his skin. Yeah. Yeah. And all of his, all of our effects work the same way, and everything. There's no changes really, just a little bit more snowy effects on it. And yeah, so that's that skin. Now we have the two tier twos, which aren't much like, and and these two skins are really nice skins. I have to give it to them right here. Uh, didn't see the Afro skin coming. I would have expected this in October, to be honest with you. Uh, but the Scuddy skin, she needed a she needed a tier some tiered skin or something, and this is one. So let's uh let's listen to the voice pack. Look, Bernhard, seems like these skills have been naughty again. Time to rescue them! Okay, that's louder than the Aphrodite skin. Oh, God. Um, and it's a long, that was long, so... It, you can see kind of a Swedish accent to it, and uh, that was her talking to the dog there. Um, so the next skins, like I said, Tier 2s, we have... They messed it up. They messed it up! Ow! They messed it up. Ah, we'll get what? it. The the um. Don't you have it open on your side? The Worm Slayer, yes. Uller, and the uh. Uh, Kofectious Fnefnar are, and her and Hoi from last game. Uh, the tier twos from last one. Are you kidding me, Hires? <laughs> are you kidding me? Uh. Oh my God. Okay, so. Oh my god, I cannot believe you, hi -res. You screwed up my patch notes again. Even further. Okay, so let's go on. We have Demon King Ravana and Nile Stalker Sobek. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, Demon King Ravana. So basically, not much you can do with Ravana. Um, they did a decent job on this. I don't know why he's blue, though. Why is he blue, it's Fang? Smurf. Smurf. He's 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 say. a Smurf. He's joined the Smurf family. This is Demon King Smurf. Instead of Papa Smurf, we've yep. got Demon Smurf. Demon Smurf went to the gym, uh, got jacked, and has joined the battlegrounds. So yeah, and he's just smart. basically got that hor the 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 very horny uh, headdress, and um, his mustache is holding up. That's all. That's always good to know that you're. Headdress. Yeah, the horny high dress. <laughs> so next up, we have the little uh, the Nile Stalker Sobek tier two. I think it's Nile Stalker. Did I guess that right? I did. Yes. So uh, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I'm not a huge fan of Sobek. <gasps> it let me. Oh, it it let me actually zoom in this time. Um, <laughs> usually it just like barely does it. But this it's a nice Sobek skin. It looks very. It it's a very tier two ish. Um, I just could have seen this gone a little bit differently for him. It's just, um, I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan of the look. I kind of like what they did with the, like, electric, like, Tron effects on him, but, I don't know. It almost looked like he put a shell on his back. He doesn't need a shell. It's just, I don't know. They could have done something different with this, I th feel like. Um, but, it's going to get used, I think. 
Sobek players will be happy about it. I think. So. Hopefully. My opinion is not great. Could be better. Eh. Ravana, that the, I don't know why he's blue, but that's okay. So that's my opinions on those. What What about you, Fang? What, what do you think about these? Well, I'm not really a big fan of Ravana to begin with, but for his skin, I do like the Smurf look. I'll be <laughs> honest, it means I can make fun of him more whenever I'm laning against him. But uh, down to the Sobek one, I don't really feel like they did much about it, like about his skin. But you know, tier two, what what really can you do? But if I said that right, but um, it is okay, in my opinion. Could be better. Okay, so as we just went over, the two skin, the two other skins aren't actually not here. They put the they put Ho Yin in her. So I can't show them because they're not here. I mean, Ho Yi's not too far Hashtag away. Hashtag blame high res. <laughs> but Ho Yi's not on Uller. Well, I mean, okay, so if you think about it, Chiron. Well, Chiron? Uller. Uller has a dragon y look to him. He's got the fire arrow. I mean, just okay. think about a dragon cut into many pieces and then his armor thrown onto one Uller. I mean, it's not really much imagination going into it. I'm sorry. But then I hate And them, then so. the the Fefnar is actually a uh, it's a recolor. So give me one second real quick while I go to my Twitter and see cuz I know I retweeted it. See. Yep, here they are. Okay. So here is the recolor skin for Fefnar <laughs> which it just switches the dragon to being purple and him to being green um, and kind of in that aspect it's it's cool. It's it's okay. It's Fefna. It's a recolor. Everyone has to worry about the recolor. And then next we have Worm Slayer and her, which is the it's it's Dragon Slayer. I don't know why they didn't call him Dragon Slayer and her. And I and her. What what the? F oh my god. Uh Uller. So. But yeah, it's 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 cool. He's got the kind of the dragon effect on. Looks like he has been cutting down some dragons, and it kind of fixed with that since Fafnar turns into a dragon. I got a bad feeling that Uller's going to be a. I'm going to have to face this in the solo lane. I'm going to go dragon. Next thing I'm going to have my head cut off, hanging on a mantle. Sad days. <laughs> and he's got some cool effects with it. He got the increased fire slash red effect onto the bow and blue effects onto the axes. And, uh, yeah. So, dragons all around, uh, too. Back to the patch note. It looks like they have a little voice thing that you can press. I don't worried. know if it'll be and hers or what. Well, I don't but, know. <laughs> uh, let, yeah. me, let me see real quick. Okay, let's see this. There is no beast I can't slay. Loud AF, but that's definitely him. So, that's, uh, works out for us. So those are the two skins that we uh, can't see because they are kind of broken. And, of course, if you want to see these pictures early, you can always follow our Twitter, but you don't have to. That's just there for you because I always retweet as soon as they come into my feed. And you will see these before, the pic before so, yeah. So, lastly, but well, actually, Fang, how how you feel about these skins? This is my favorite skin out of this whole thing, in all honesty. The Uller? Actually, screw that. After, what? The Uller? No, no. Not Ullers. I, I like Fafnir's just for the fact that it's a switch in colors, unlike most. You can now choose if you want Fafnir to be green or purple, which is really cool. I mean, if you ask me. But uh, I think that's the first time they've done that with anybody with a uh, Switch stance. So, be fun to see how that goes. Yeah, I think it's cool. Uh, and I like the purple. I, I like the cool. purple dragon. Yeah. And I can't wait to see them. I could see them doing a uh, skin with Fafnir that goes on the same route as um, what's his name? 
chi health uh, the Hellfire Chiron or whatever, which gives it like his dragon is red and black and breathes fire and everything. It just goes kind of a fire a fiery one, and and instead of in in his in his helmet instead of actually having a face, you just have like the red, like a full like black with like the red eyes and stuff. I'm I'm really looking forward to see what they do with Fafnar and what skin concepts and stuff. And uh, I'm really interested in playing him. I think he's going to be pretty strong. So, yep. It's uh, it, it we'll we'll see about it. we'll see about it. And uh, yeah, next. Actually, real quick before I switch off, here is actual card art for the main Fefnar because it wouldn't open before. So there you go, a little bit of card art slash picture for him because the card art there's like extended card art is always like the picture for the patch notes, I guess. And uh, there you go. So that's what you've missed out so far because of messes up by high res. Hashtag thank high res. Okay, next up we have Miss Jing Wei Mastery Skins, which look absolutely beautiful in my opinion. I love the design. I love the way they're redoing Mastery Skins. So, I, I, and the main things that sell it for me is the wings. The, the on the gold and blue one, they look really good. I like the gold and blue and the gold and black more than I do the diamond, although the diamond is a very nice uh, look to it. But the gold and black and the gold and blue look absolutely amazing on the wings. Yeah, and they, uh, with Jin Wei, they did something different. They made, well, not different, but they made her wings, uh, you see how they're layered. They actually took the blue and for the black like on the legendary, they made it sort of have a little layer or whatever you want to call it. Like the blue actually glows a little bit. A shine. And it's a little, shine. yeah, shines a little bit. And it's a little, it's those little things they do for details that make make having a skin for a god even better. So they did real good on Jin Wei's mastery skins. And like I said, I really do like that they're keeping just. The hair and the body the same. It just makes the god look more real and more gold armored than just pure gold. Never liked that. Still waiting on a let's see, Bacchus, uh, Hercules. God, Hercules needs one. Um, Zeus. Still waiting on those to happen. You give me those, I'll be happy. <laughs> Okay, so we got a couple of... That's all God stuff. So let's go on to achievements. So number one, we have Aphrodite. And basically, uh, my lovely my lovely lady birds, you get a kill with the birds. So basically, play Aphrodite with power. And, and there you go. Easy. Like, give us something hard, hi -res. Come on, man. Come on. Get a kill with birds. It's literally one game of Afro. Full I mean, power Afro. Usually Come that's on. the kill for her anyways. Yeah. And then kill Afro. Yeah. Get birds. I mean, so late. Just throw your birds out. He's dead. GG. Okay. okay. Next we have Kiss Me. This is the one. This is the achievement that really shows that Afro is a slut. Kiss every god in the match. This includes allies and enemies. Oh boy! Now let's see what we got. Now let's talk about this. So this is basically I'm. I don't know if this is going to count. If it's like it, it says in every, in a match, so you could probably if you didn't want to be that big of a hoe, you could probably do it in like a joust and only have to kiss five different people. But if you do it in like a conquest. You kiss nine different people. I mean, that's your that. If you decide to do that, that's your lips, you know. That's yes, yeah, your lips. You're the you're the one that's got to either kiss the the freaking fat Bacchus or the or the the poisonous dragon or the pure water man or the. I'm trying to think of a thank you person and or the rat. Freaking oh ki yeah, ki <laughs> kiss the fire chick. Yeah, or red. Oh, oh God, so. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing how uh, Afro with a fan fanfare fanfare. 
however you say his name, is going to fare out because I've been thinking about some little little duos that you can have and really want to see those two in a lane together. I don't think it'll be as powerful as you think it is because of Fan Fierce just being a guardian and not having the damage. I want to see more Artemis, uh, Artemis Fan Fear being that you give power and attack speed. Um, an Artemis that builds semi life steal. If I if I can put that Dagum effect on her as much as I want to, it could be a changer on that Dagum, uh, a basic attacker with that effect. That could be a game changer, especially with especially Artemis's buff uh, on uh, Artemis's like attack speed buff. You get a power crit early on. That's going to hit like a truck. So that's a truck. yeah. Okay, so next up we have where did I go from Knox and just remain in the ally for eight seconds. So it's either go that's they weren't sure that if eight seconds was the max or not. So it's either going to be that you like sit in them for the max amount of time. Which if it is, come on, Iris, please, come on. You could do that for in the, the max base. duration. Well, yeah. Or the thing is, I think it might hit right like might be just a little bit before the eight seconds so say you had like a Apollo or a Thor you just jump in them they pop their ult and there you go you've got the achievement there you go yeah so, so that, either way it's not as hard but it just kinda of goes by uh, your team comp so if you're really looking to get that achievement right up you get an Apollo on your team and right before else you just jump in him and then he flies around until his man is out and boop there you go yeah. there you go so, and then Nox, his next one is Embrace the Darkness and use Siphon Darkness and Shylock to deliver the killing blow to at least three enemies in one match. You use your combo on the enemy yeah, mage. Yeah, not too hard. As long as you can get three kills, then you're, you're good. Yeah, you just it, gotta hit it. Not much going you gotta hit it. Right. That's the problem with most Noxes we find on Xbox. You gotta hit it. Yeah, and they know the combo. Like combo. They, they missed though. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> missing cat freeze all day. Just don't understand how. <laughs> they could hit. They hit Poseidon more than they hit the Kabrakin. Bringing back bad memories. <laughs> I had a good game that game. Okay, so next up we have Ratatasker. It was. First one is go nuts. Use Rack Tasker stun three or more opponents with one Acorn Blast. Okay. Uh, team fight uh, grouped around Gold Fury or or Fire Giant Acorn Blast game. Hey, you can totally put at least a little bit of work into this one. Yeah. It's not one of those you just run out there and hit somebody with the GG. Yeah. Your achievement. But or, or uh, like get or get your dash at the start of the game and like just walk with the walk with in the god possibly. If it's not, if it, if that's the duration of the uh, of the uh, sit in, yeah, have them walk you to yep. dam, have, have them walk you to damage camp to start the game, <laughs> like somebody I know. Uh, uh, uh <laughs> yeah, hey, <laughs> that okay. guy must be a real douche. <laughs> and the next one is look out below as Radsasker knock up three or more enemy gods at once with through the cosmos. Now this one. Could be a little bit more hard. A little bit more hard. We haven't really seen what the size of this knockup is for Red Tasker on the Xbox yet. I'm pretty sure it's the same size, but that's okay. That, that again, that could be. Oh, I'm gonna attack the back lines, and they're all grouped together on Gold Fury or Fire Giant, or they're all sitting, or the three. <laughs> Oh, they're all going to go back and get the damage camp real quick or something, and like you just ult over and pff, knock up. It it team fight. You just gotta do it in a team fight. T place it well in a team fight, and you got it. So that's basically achievements. Not the uh, oh god, these <laughs> they're not the hardest achievements, but they're achievements. So next up, we have some miscellaneous stuff. So we fix the whisper being wiped after every game. That doesn't matter to Xbox players, but PC. it matters to PC players. Uh, and then fix Souls to achievement to separate having an incorrect description on Steam. PC players, not Xbox players, not even the P uh, Xbox players that don't have Steam. So yeah, Steam, they're still having some troubles. Feel bad for you, son. Got 99 problems with Steam 8-1. 
God, Luke. <laughs> so next up we have item changes, and this is a big one. For, this is a enjoyable one for me because I always use at least one health item, and it's usually one of these health items. Stone of Gaia especially, sometimes Mellow Renewal on my Warriors, and they're all getting more health. A little bit more health. Take that one more basic attack. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yep. And gotta move on. That's all item and changes. All the item changes. Yeah, and uh, if you're wondering, there's no change to any of the passes or whatever they might give you, and there's no change in the cost. It's just giving you that extra 50 health. They said they want to see how it goes right now, and if it needs a little tweak, and then they'll do it later. I don't, I don't see it being that much of a, t a change unless I start being absolutely unkillable with like a stunner guy or something. I don't see that. I don't see it's going to be changing much. Um, Truly. Thebes is not getting picked up at all. It's a good item. It's not getting picked up at all, um, especially since the the lack of Hercules and Chalk in the meta right now. Um, still good gods, not getting played. Um, Mail renewal getting some pickup, but being that it has its effect, but it doesn't have its protection anymore. It's not a must-have like most assassins used to have it. Um, and then Stone of Gaia, it's a that's a support a support item and no one seems to be I find it useful in the MP5 builds and the uh, HP5 builds like I run but most people are running a more just pure defense based and more robe based especially with Mantle of Discord nowadays um, and the thing is about it I'm picking up Mantle of Discord over Stone of Guy a lot of these times because it just doesn't give you the sustain that I it used to being that it does not have like it's still good but it's just it's just underwhelming, especially if you're getting molly whopped early game. Uh, if you if that, I pick it up last, I usually get mantle of discord instead, just because. If I'm getting molly whopped, okay, I I gotta get I have to have a way out. But if I'm get if I'm not getting molly whopped, I'll pick up stone a guy and just make myself even more unkillable. Yeah. That MP5 makes you a beast when you're trying to tank towers though. That's the one thing Mantle of the Discord doesn't really do for you. It's just a, it it gives you some protection as a tower, but it does not heal you as much as it would. It doesn't help you as much for tanking towers. So something to think about. That's what I found at least. And then Mail of Renewal is always a good. I, I've always liked Mail of Renewal, but I just can't find a, a place for it unless I'm a warrior support. Um, next I'm up, a... God changes. Yep. Net warrior saying thing. Oh, I was just going to say, Mail of Renewal, you don't really see it on Assassins or anything anymore, just for the fact that the recent buff to Bloodforge, really, I mean, why would you run Mail of Renewal whenever you got Bloodforge? Bloodforge, you just run that. You've got a shield, and you've got movement speed, extra power, I mean. Plus, they just throw on a little bit of some other item to give them defense. I mean, like, there's... Not much for Mel Renewal There's, between Assassins, at least. Yeah. For Assassins nowadays, what I run, I am an old-school Assassin player. I play um, I play a lot of Mel, uh, Breastplate of Valor, Bulwark of Hope. Some Assassin yeah. players are running just straight ropes, like Spirit Ropes, High the Sea Urchin, Mental Discord, one of those, for their defensive item. I run the two defensive items and then run a run whatever I want to run with them. Blood Force sometimes, sometimes not. Blood Force just depends on how I'm doing and how I'm actually affecting the game. Um, but yeah, that's it. Metal of Renewal just kind of fell off just because of the lack of defense. So. Yes. Going on to God Changes, this is I think the final stretch for us, yes. Uh, Amuzin Cub, Hive, cooldown re uh, reduced from 16 to 14 seconds so he can place down his Hives more. Uh, just gives him a little more substang, a little more attack speed, giving him a little more like utility just as a, as a they're trying to give Ozma Cobb some love because he's just not great. He got the damage, ain't got nothing else. Nothing else. Uh, Artemis fixed the issue with Cerulean Boar when untextured with Recon Artemis. PC problem, Xbox problem, not right now. When they see it in 3. <laughs> if it breaks in 3.9, we'll know they'll have to fix it for Xbox then, though. Uh, Hebo getting yeah. a little love without that escape. He got the mana cost reduce. It went from 70 to 110 to 65 to 85. Mr. Fang Vantino, what would you have to say about this? More butt plugging for 
everybody. That's oh, all I guess. God, Jesus. <laughs> Clinch your buttocks. Okay, Kukla Khan, Slipstream, yep. giving him a reduced cooldown from 15 at all ranks to 15 to 11 seconds ranking up. Making him a little bit slipperier late game and uh, more of a late, giving him a little bit more of that late game. Now, Ratatasker, too strong in 3.9, as everyone has been saying on everything, basically. Uh, Dart, base damage reduced from 100 to 260 to 80 to 240, so 20 less damage at all ranks. Then, Flurry, your cooldown is now 14 seconds. Jesus. And. Protection debuff is now instead of two three four five six, it is two two three three four. A little less shred protection. Do it a lot. I can't do it as much, and a little less damage on the dart. We'll see how this affects yeah. Rat. And if it kills him, it's a shame. Then they nerfed him, and he's useless again. Thank but you. uh, I think it was earlier today. They or sometime. This they released week, a patch earlier today. A hot fix. Yeah, hot so, fix for him to take away from his uh, stun, was it? Yes, the Acorn Blast went from 10 seconds uh, to 15 seconds. Okay. That's not in these patch notes, but that is already in the game. Damn it, Disperse, get off my screen. I, I, gotta, start, I gotta stop turning off Steam. Cause every time I record on my computer, state, like Dispersed or somebody is always playing something. Okay. Let's Back onto it. Where's my steam at? Let's see. Finish up. Rajin. Thunder Crash. Thun uh, lightning damage reduced from 20. Wait. Yeah. Lightning damage is from 20 to 60, is now 20 to 40. And Thunder damage uh, is from 40 to 120, is now 40 to 80. So, a little bit less damage late game. The dude hit like a mother freaking truck. Yeah. And, and if you're wondering, like, if you're an Xbox player or P, uh, PlayStation player, uh, I don't know if it's if he's played much in PlayStation, but he was being played a lot in, in uh, a PC, so that's why he's getting nerfed. The PC, he, he's a really big, see. big player on the pl the PC side, and he's also big on the ranked side. If you don't play a lot of ranked, you don't see him a lot. But if you see him in the ranked, a good Rajan player in ranked can be a scary, scary thing. And we saw him a lot in the SBL, if you follow that. Uh, the Boosh is a really good Rajan player, and he is very, very scary with it. Uh, the, and the late game damage is insane. You land a Thunder Crash, the person is dead. Yep. So don't be salty. Don't be salty. It was in all good. It's in all good. It may may just make you not want to play him on Xbox, but you got other mages. There's like 40 of them. That's. Yep. Th I can get salty about Guardians because there's only like 12. Can't get salty about mages because there's forty. <laughs> the same way. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid penetration. Okay, Susano scaling reduce on his storm kata from ninety to eighty on both hits, so that both does just a little bit more, a uh, little less late game damage, and then no longer pro prox prox. I can say that multiple item effects like bluestone more than once, meaning. Bluestone, you can't just like crazy like I hate bluestone suits now. Do so did so much damage, um, and then fixed an issue where uh, abilities were ranking up mid use. Ranked up. When yep. So if you're a Susano player right now, uh, if you really want to be that guy and have your early game do really great, uh, before this patch comes out, you might want to throw that bluestone pennant so that you can get a lot of kills. <clears throat> yep. And if and if you're going to be that person that's not going to be playing, and we're going to be playing him after the patch, just don't even get bluestone. Get Bumba's max like a Bumba's mask like a normal jungler. Come on, people. Come on, people. So jungles with bluestone. Or get death's toll if you want to stay in lane. Give, give me a break. That's all the patch we've had today. Salty. Thank you, Fang, for joining me in this. It's always nice to have someone else to talk about talk about this with and spend. 50 freaking minutes doing it. Oh, whoa. We just rambled on for all day. So, again, patch is coming out the Tuesday after this game, uh, this, which, uh, after this video goes out game, which is the 7th of June, and I hope you guys enjoy it. 
I'm looking forward to it. I want to play this Guardian. And have a nice day. Yep. Say bye, Fag. Stay frosty. Oh, stay frosty. See you later.